Hey guys, Terry Purdue here again. Uh, trying to finish up on the electricity thing, which does have to do with the warm brown sound. Um, I gotta talk fast because I don't know how much time I got. But uh, anyway, uh, uh, I was talking about resistance and all that. Edward Van Halen, when he started playing, he noticed his amps were being depressed and he went and he got a variac, what's called a variac. Variac stands for variable, variable alternating current. It's like a dimmer switch on a, on a light. You get a, you get a light and you got a dimmer switch on it. You can dim the lights, turn them up, whatever. Same thing. He went and bought, bought a, a commercial higher grade Variac. You can do the same thing with your, your amps, but you're going to cook your freaking tubes. You can turn what's coming out of the wall is 110. 110. Or less, usually less. It says one ten, but it's usually less. Uh, you can take a variac hook up, hook up, put on on the wall socket. It'll, it'll crank it up to like one thirty or one forty, and you will fry your freaking tubes. You'll fry your tubes, but you know if if, if you're chasing that sound, you want to get that sound to boot because you got more cabinets on your amp. You want to boost the voltage to bring up everything. You can do it. You can do it. But you are going to cook your amps. I mean, you are going to cook cook your tubes. Uh, if money ain't a problem, do it. Do it. Do it all you want. Uh, you probably play it maybe four, six, eight times. Your tubes will be cooked because they're getting too much voltage for what their uh, uh, standards are. But anyway, like I was saying about the circuit saw earlier, Stick 300 feet of cord, 300 feet of, uh, look, when I was back in college, when I was in college, me and my brother, we built piers and boat houses, had circular saw out there, and I did. I had 300 feet of cord to reach where we were sawing two by eights for this pier. And, man, my saw, my saw was turning extremely slow. It was cut the wood, but it was going, I mean, it took three times the time that it normally would. Still worked, but it was losing. It was meeting so much resistance. The saw slowed down. You didn't have to look at it. You could hear a wah. Instead of wee, it was wah. It slowed way down because it was meeting all that resistance through 300 feet of cord. Get a, get a power tool, any power tool, and put a bunch of cord on it, and you will hear the difference. And you'll, you can, see the difference on that particular tool. On my particular tool was a skill saw. Man, it, it freaked me out. I didn't know what was going on then. I mean, because I was only like, I don't know, 22 years old or something like that. I'm 54 now. 22 years old. I didn't know what the hell was going on. I had no clue what was going on. But anyway, uh, I learned later on, you know, I, I started playing guitar when I was 12. 12. So I've been playing guitar for 40, 42 years. Uh, and I, all this is trial and error. You know, I wasn't born with the knowledge of knowing all this crap. And I didn't go to school to learn this stuff. Just over the years, trial and error, guitars, amps and all that. I learned it. I learned it over the years, trial and error. Well, what the, what's going on here? What's going on there? You know, and, and learn stuff as I went along. Just like Eddie Van Halen did. He didn't know what the hell was going on when he got his, the variac put on his amp and all that. He didn't know what the hell was going on. He had no clue what was going on. He just knew something was going on. He needed to boost, boost the voltage to his amp to get the brown sound that he wanted because he had too many speaker cabinets going on one 100 watt amp. That's where we go with the warm brown sound he was losing you know he got his first amp sounded great sounded great but it wasn't loud it wasn't loud like he wanted it to be uh then he he shops around uh studies things whatever you know the dude's got toggle switches and uh all these different components hanging out of his pockets because he's a he's a maniac you know on on sound he's a maniac on sound and how to make this amp sound better and how to make that guitar 
do better, sound better, whatever. That he learned by trial and error too. That's why he is the maniac he is today. He knows the stuff now. He didn't go to school for it either. Trial and error. Trial and error. You can do the same thing. Trial and error. Do the same thing. Do the experiments that I talked about. You'll and you will realize what's what's coming down the pipe. You'll know. You'll hear it. You'll hear it. You'll hear it. If you if you do the the saw test, like I said, you'll hear it and see it. The RPMs of that saw blade, instead of going twenty five hundred RPMs, it might go one thousand RPMs. Uh, give it a shot. Give it a shot. Trial and error. Look, that's the best teacher. Trial and error is the best teacher. Not going to school, not letting somebody tell you what the hell's going on. Try it yourself. Do whatever yourself on an amp, guitar, whatever. Now, th that that is what creates a warm brown sound. He brought his voltage up using the Variac, getting more voltage through his uh, amp. And, of course, he you know, did the, the, the settings on his amp and all that stuff, like I talked about earlier. But uh, give it a shot. Give it a shot. You'll see. You'll see. Do it yourself. And, and tweak it to the way you like it. Not the way I like it. Do it the way you like it. And you'll be very satisfied when you get to know what you want to know and what you want to hear. You'll be very satisfied. Now, from this point, I'm done with the warm brown sound. After this video, I'm going to show you some guitar tips. I'm not going to give you guitar lessons. Tricks and licks and all that crap. There's plenty of that 